New tonight, a firsthand account of Michael's power. Katie Jarrett is a Chesapeake native who now lives in Florida. And she came face to face with Michael. Tonight, she spoke with 13 News Now reporter Megan Preyer as she waits to return to pick up the pieces. David, I spoke with Jarrett, who grew up in Chesapeake, but recently moved to Florida. She says the devastation is beyond anything she's ever seen before. This was the last thing Katie Jarrett saw before she left her condo in Panama City, Florida on Tuesday. We woke up on Tuesday. I went to the grocery store at 6 a.m. because I was like, I need water and I need snacks and food and I don't want to fight the lines. I tried to find gas. We were all out of gas at that point in Panama City. With her condo right on the water, bracing against the storm, Jarrett went to a friend's house nearby, but soon she got a cell phone warning. Woke me up and it was like category four, get out now. Um, and so I woke up, I was like, we're out, we need to go. Um, and so basically we got in the car around 1230 in the morning and just drove west to Pensacola. Jarrett, a Chesapeake native and CNU alum, moved to Florida in June to teach. She thought Virginia prepared her for these storms. I re distinctly remember Isabel. I was in fifth grade. And I distinctly remember that storm. I remember the cleanup of, you know, my neighbors had trees on their houses and we banded together. But, but there, it is complete devastation. Jared is safe in Pensacola now as she watches the destruction on TV. It's just a war zone is what it looks like. But now all she can think about is her students and if they're OK. And I was able to text the parents of my students before the storm hit like, hey, I hope everybody's doing what they need to and thinking about you guys. Um, and I was able to send another message this morning saying, you know, you're all on, on my heart and my thoughts. But even with technology, Jared feels helpless. Kind of a sinking feeling because you feel so helpless and you can't really do anything besides watch. Again, Jared is safe, but she says it's important to get in touch with relatives and let them know you're okay as soon as it's safe to do so. Megan Perrier, 13 News Now.